Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. And today we're working on the Cuddle Up tunic, uh, the adult version. So this is super exciting because we have the Cuddle Up tunic, kids tunic version, and it is such a cute pattern. So we had to make an adult version. Now it's a little bit grown up, uh, more of a grown up fit. So it's super, super cute. And I can't wait to get started. Bo and I are over here getting ready to sew. And so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our front pocket and we're gonna put our bands on there. So I'm going to, you can mark your center. I always like to mark my center, so I'm gonna grab those edges and go to the middle. And I like to do like a little notch where I have like a little bump right there where it shows me where the center is. And I'm gonna do the same for my band. Mark my center. Then I'm gonna fold my band in half wrong sides together and I'm going to match up that center right there with the center of my pocket and then I'm gonna go all the way down and match those raw edges and I'm gonna go up all the way up to the other side and I'm gonna do that on both sides and then we're gonna go ahead and sew it on and after we sew it on, we could steam it down. And if you want to top stitch it, then we can go ahead and top stitch it as well. All right, now that our pocket is done, the bands are done and I top stitched them. I'm gonna grab, this is my uh, skirt my bottom of my bodice and front bottom of my bodice and I'm gonna grab my pocket and place it right on top the wrong side of the pocket facing the right side of the top and I'm gonna match up those sides you want to make sure the bottom raw edge is even the top raw edge is even both of those sides and I'm going to baste those sides and the top basting stitch, just a long straight stitch on your sewing machine, something that you can pull off later. But you wanna make sure that, and you wanna baste it together because then when you go to sew the front and the back together um, and the top on, you wanna make sure that that fabric is not gonna move away from you. So you usually use a basting stitch, which is just like a straight, long straight stitch on your sewing machine. Like I said earlier, I have, I, my sewing machine is a four. Uh, some sewing machines are, are like a six, some are, it just depends. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, now that my pocket has been basted, I'm gonna grab my front piece. I'm gonna put it right sides on top of my pocket. Uh, the bottom raw edge of the bodice top, touching the top raw edge of the skirt and the pocket piece and I'm gonna match up those raw edges all the way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew, and after I sew, if you want to, you can go ahead and open it up and top stitch it. Oh my word, look at that. I cut that one upside down. So what am I gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to go cut another piece, but that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut another piece, but that I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our back piece and put it right side up. Now our back piece is cut on in two pieces because it's got this nice shape on the back to give that, you know, our back is not straight. So it's nice to have that little shape on the back to give this, like I told you, this is a more adult uh, fit. So it looks really good. Um, so I'm gonna put those two together, right sides together, and I'm going to sew that back seam. All right, we're gonna place our bodice back. I did not top stitch my bodice back, but I did top stitch my bodice front right there. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and place those shoulder seam, those shoulders together right sides together and we're gonna go ahead and sew that and Bo has made himself very comfortable underneath my sewing machine 
Yo, I am literally sitting so far from my machine because Bo is right on my other side and he is just not budging. So do you all have um, puppies or cats or uh, kids that get in your way when you're trying to sew? He is literally right here, right behind my chair. So I can barely move my chair and he just wants to be in the middle of everything. So um, he's so funny. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open our bodice and open my arm side. Here's my shoulder. And um, if you're doing, I'm not doing lantern sleeves, I'm just doing regular sleeves. Uh, but if you're doing those sleeves, what you need to do is make sure that you have your front and your back of your sleek, your sleek, your sleeve on the correct one. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and then you're just gonna do the same thing I'm doing. We're gonna mark the middle and pin that right there where your uh, seam is and then right sides together all the way down one side and we're going to sew and then down the other side and I'm going to do that for both sleeves. All right, my sleeves are sewn up and I actually call this sleeves lantern sleeves, the other sleeves and they're actually uh, bishop sleeves, but you know what I meant, right? Yeah. So I've got my sleeves are sewn up, so now I'm gonna sew up my sides. I am going to match up right here at the armpit area and go all the way down, making sure that pocket is right there. You see how we basted it on, so hopefully it won't move on us when we're trying to sew it up. And then we're gonna go all the way down the sleeve as well. All right, let's sew that one up. All right, so we're gonna work on our armbands, but while we're at our armbands, we're gonna do this for all our bands. We're gonna grab our armbands, fold them right sides together. We're gonna sew this raw edge. Um, now, if you are doing a uh, short sleeve, you don't have to do this. And then if you're doing, um, Oh, and then, wait, before I get to that. And then we're gonna grab our, our neckband and you can first give it a memory crease if you'd like. So fold it wrong sides together and steam it so it has that memory crease for when we go attach it, it will stay nicely, nicer. You know, sometimes it has a hard time staying down. I need to be careful with this fabric because it's sweater knit and I don't wanna burn it with my hot iron. So I have to make sure that it's not super hot. And we're gonna fold it right sides together and attach that raw edge. So we're just gonna go ahead and attach all the raw edges on all our bands. Same with the uh, waistband, attach that raw edge at the bottom. What I was gonna say is I am doing just a regular neckband, but if you're doing the cowl, um, you can go check out our video for our, um, for our, um, traveler uh, or traveler top. Um, I did the cowl, um, a cowl on that. And it's a similar, the steps are the same when you do the cowl. Um, so if you, need, if you need help on how to do the steps on the cowl, you can go check that out and it's the same steps. So you can do that. And then I was gonna tell you, I know I get questions from you guys all the time and I always forget to tell you, um, this is a sweater knit fabric I'm using and it's from Fab Mir Fabrics, if you have questions about that. Um, and I am wearing the half pipe tee. I know I get that question too and it's on Devil Brush Poly half pipe tee. So let's sew these up. All right, we are almost done. We just gotta band everything and we'll be done. And I like to, you all know I like to do everything at the same time. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be super cute. I am so excited for it. I am here for it. All right, so I've got my bands, my arm, uh, what are these called? My arm bands, my sleeve bands, my bands, whatever they are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, so you can do whichever bands you want to do first and you can actually do them like I'm gonna do them all at once But if you want to do a little bit at a time I'm trying to see which way 
I want them to be. So I want them to be, this is gonna be my right side. So I always say right sides together, right? So I wanna make sure this is my right side. And I'm gonna mat, I'm gonna find my half right here. And I'm going to grab my sleeve. Now, if you're doing the bishop sleeves, you will have a wider bottom. So you'll have to gather the, the bishop sleeve, put a gathering stitch, the width of your cuff and see how I want them right sides together. So I turn my cuff around so that the right sides can touch. I want the right sides of my cuff to touch. So, you know, before I always like struggled with that. I'm like, how do I do it so that it's facing the right way, blah, blah, blah. And then I got to thinking and I'm like, right sides together. I say that all the time, right sides together. And then I can't remember when it's time for me to do it because then they're gonna be facing the side that I want them to face. So I'll do that for the other sleeve as well. But let me show you how we do our neck band. We got a quarter. Yes, I just threw my fluff on the ground and there's thread everywhere is that how your sewing room is or do you have like a spot you put everything in and it's nice and clean because like when i'm working on a project there is stuff i were not like i wouldn't say my sewing room is super messy but it is a little messy <laughs> and so um yeah but i come back and clean it after i'm done with like a bunch of projects and i'm like okay i i need a clean space so usually like i work all week and then on the weekends i don't really sew very much i just kind of clean and declutter and that's kind of what I do on the weekends. Not that you really care, but yeah, I have no life other than sewing. Just kidding, sort of. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and match up those uh, shoulder seams and go to the back. Well, I already have a seam on the back, so there it is. Match up the shoulder seams, go to the front, and I'm gonna mark it. I like to do this little notch because like I said, it's not big enough to like make a difference, but you will eat it with your seam allowance, but it will be there to help you if your uh, pin falls off or anything like that. I'm gonna grab my front and my back together and I'm gonna go to the sides. Your shoulder seams are not your quarters. If you use your shoulder seams as quarters, your neckband is not going to be even. And then I'm gonna go ahead and quarter my neckband. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it on that memory crease we made earlier trim those things and clippity clip go to the front and mark it and then match the front and the back and mark those quarters and that is the same exact thing i'm going to do for my uh bottom band i'm going to quarter the band quarter the bottom of my of my top and match up those quarter points and put them on. So let me do that for all of them. And then we'll head over to our sewing machine, our serger, and sew it together and we'll be done. And if you're doing uh, regular sl short sleeves, then you can go ahead and just hem. I'm trying to see which one's the right side, the one side that I want to show. Hmm, I think this was the side that I wanted to show. But then for some reason, it's kind of crooked. So I think I'm gonna go with this side. That way it doesn't have too much of a pattern. I know you all are like, what is she talking about? So um, obviously this sweater knit has like a lot of patterns on it. And so I was trying to match up all my patterns so that they, well not match up my patterns because I didn't do that on the front, but match up like some of my patterns when I do my, my uh, bands and whatnot. So like, for my pocket bands, if you can see, like I try to do like where the zigzag is, so you can kind of see, that's what you see, kind of the zigzag, so it's not like weird. Well, I was gonna do that for the neck, like this zigzag, but if you can see, in some places it goes higher than others, like this is fine right here, that, that was the look I was going for, but then over here, see how it went lower? Because I guess I didn't cut it right. Well, I don't want it to look like it's crooked. So I'm just gonna use the side that doesn't really matter. It's got like a random pattern. So it's just gonna be random. And people are gonna be like, oh, she just meant for it to be random. So yeah, win-win, right? All right, let me quarter. So I've got my front and my back. So really this is my other quarter right here. So I can make like a little clip right there. And then I'm gonna grab my band and quarter that. 
where the seam is, I want to put that on the back. It's going to be my back seam. And then quarter it and pin it together. Make sure when you're sewing your band on that you're catching that pocket, that front, that double layer in the front. Okay, now I just gotta do my other sleeve and we'll sew and we'll be done. All right, for my band, I like all my band to always face up. And I'm gonna start at the back. I'm gonna fit it into this my foot press it down get that needle in there grab my first quarter point pull and make it even all those raw edges and then so With sweater knit, it's kind of harder because they want to roll in and you want to make sure that they're really in there. And so then I go to the next quarter point and pull and do it all over again and then keep going all the way around. All right, you all. We are done. How cute is this? Don't you love it? I love it. Look at this. It is perfect. I love the uh, how the patterns came out. Remember I told you I kind of was doing the, trying to, you know, do the pattern. Um, so I am super, super excited. I love the huge oversized pocket. I just love the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you can be entered for a $50 LMA gift certificate uh, giveaway that we do monthly. Uh, come join us on Facebook and Instagram where people are sharing their makes so you can be inspired and so you can share your makes and we can be inspired by them. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!